dear students now we are going to discuss insert series in satellite communication insert means indian national satellite system it is a series of multi purpose geostationary satellites launched by isro isro means indian space research organization so insert is a series of multi purpose geostationary satellites so it is the largest domestic communication system in asia pacific region so it is mainly used for telecommunication broadcasting meteorology search and rescue operations okay so it is the joint venture of dos dot imd yet and doordarshan dos means department of science department of telecommunication indian meteorology department yeah all india radio air yeah, means all india radio okay so this all are the joint venture for this insert series okay so there are different series available in this indian national satellite system insert 1 insert 2 insert 3 and insert 4 series so the first one is insert 1 series insert 1b was successfully launched in August 1983 so it is mainly used to expand the tv and modern telecommunication facilities to all the remote areas over the asia pacific region okay next insert 2 series in this series totally 24 satellites were launched in this insert 2e satellite carries 17 c band and low air extended c band transponders as payload so it is mainly used to provide the zonal and global coverage with an earp of 36 db watts so earp means equivalent isotropic radiated power which is required for satellite transmission okay so this insert 2e carries a very high resolution radio meter ccd cameras for meteorological imaging system okay what is mean by ccd so here it is a charge coupled device it is a light sensitive device mainly used for very high resolution for example 2 by 2 km 8 by 8 km ground resolution is possible with this vhrr ccd cameras okay especially for meteorological imaging analysis okay so the next one is very important one that is insert 3 series there are different types available insert 3a 3d 3e kalpana 1 edison gz2 let's discuss this insert 3a 3d and 3e in this comparison format 3a launched in april 2003 3d launched in july 2003 3E launched in September 2003. So here 3A carries the payloads, 12 normal C-band transponders, and CCD cameras. Here 3D carries the imager, sounder, data relay transponder, search and rescue transponder. 3E carries 24 normal C-band transponders as payloads. Okay. So here. 3A coverage area is expanded from Middle East to South Asia and India. Here 3D its coverage is over the part of the Indian Ocean region. So large part of the Indian Ocean region is covered by this 3D, okay? So inside 3E, so its coverage is mainly focused on edge of the coverage over India with EIRP 37 dB watt and also 38 db watts okay next kalpana 1 it is an exclusive meteorological satellite launched by pslb in september 2002 so it is mainly used for meteorological services okay initially it was named as metsat that is meteorology satellite but after that it was renamed to kamamare kalpana chavla So Kalpana Chawla is the first woman of Indian origin to go to space. So to commemorate the Kalpana Chawla, it was renamed as Kalpana One. Okay. 
So it carries very high resolution radio meter and DRT payloads to provide high resolution meteorological services. So the next one is EDUSAT. It is an exclusive educational satellite launched by GSLV in September 2004. So GSLV means Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle. PSLV means Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Okay. So it is mainly used for audio visual with digital interactive classroom and multimedia content. So simply we can say mainly used for small advanced teaching facility. So it is an exclusive educational satellite. Okay. So the next one is GSAT2 that is geosynchronous satellite. Okay. So here it launched by GSLV2 in May 2003. It is mainly used for communication that is digital audio data and video broadcasting. It carries four C-band transponders to provide 36 dB watt EARP with India coverage and two Q-band that is KU-band transponders with 42 dB watts EARP. Okay. Next, INSET 4 series. It provides the services in the range of Q-band and C-band. The payloads are 12 Q-band 36 MHz bandwidth transponders. Next, 12 C-band 36 MHz transponders. So here, 12 Q-band 36 MHz transponders with 140 watts TWTAs. That is traveling wave tube amplifiers. That is high power microwave amplifiers. To provide an EARP of 52 dBW at the edge of coverage polygon over Indian mainland. Okay. So next, this 12 C band transponders provide an EARP of 39 dB watts. Okay. So this inside 4 series are mainly used to cover the Indian geographical boundary and the area beyond India in southeast and southwest regions okay so here we can take the example tata sky it is a joint venture between tata group and star users inset 4a for distributing their dth service okay so there are different types of inset 4 series available inset 4a 4b 4cr gz8 that is also known as inset 4g GZ12 that is also known as GZ10.